Hello there folks and welcome to Chris Hall Motorcycles in Doncaster and welcome to the channel. First of all I'd like to apologise if these indicators or this sack barrier gets in the way. We're a bit squashed at the moment and um, yeah bikes are just uh, lined up everywhere. We've been on a buying spree. So yeah if they come into view just ignore them. So what I forgot for you today folks we've got some beautiful two stroke. We're going to start this baby up and uh, fill the showroom with two stroke. Annoy our neighbours and uh, just sit and take it all in so it's a 1976 yamaha rd 400 uh, beautiful bike really it's been restored to a really nice standard got lots of invoices lots of paperwork so uh so what we're going to do on this video let me explain we're going to do a slow walk around of the bike to show you the bike in its uh, aesthetic glory um then we will i'll have a quick show you of the paperwork and what it's got and etc that kind of thing then all being well I'm going to, I've had my Weetabix this morning, so I'm going to attempt to start up with the camera in my hand. Um, as you guys know, sometimes this fails, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and then we'll, uh, then I'll explain how we supply the bike and uh, what we can do for you. So without further ado, let's get into this. Let's have a walk around this bike. Um, and uh, as always, let's start at the back of the bike. So, um, the bike's absolutely gorgeous by the way, it's been, like I say, the paintwork is beautiful, uh, the, the seat is nice, there's no rips, no tears or anything like that to be made aware of, the chrome is very nice as well, so overall it's a really nice clean vehicle. Uh, let me just point out rear tyre, that is like brand new rear tyre so there's nothing to worry about there, not that you're going to be commuting on this bike anyway. Um, and like I say, the chrome on all the exhaust, the rear shocks, everything is lovely. As we work our way forward, the paint on this tank is beautiful. Whoever has painted that, it, that is just gorgeous. It's got a real nice depth to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that is beautiful. Um, engine casings, etc., etc. Again, all the rubbers on the uh, foot pegs, all nice and clean. The headers are, are, are all right as well. They're not too bad. As we work our way up to the cockpit, um, again, Nothing to shout out about, you know, there's nothing negative here at all. It's lovely and clean, but someone's done a really nice job on restoring this bike. Uh, there's two stone chips just on the uh, front of the clocks there and there, which, uh, and there's one just there as well. Uh, I don't know if you can just make that out, uh, but they're the, they're the only little negatives I can find. But on a 1976 bike, we're not doing too bad. The chrome on the front mudguard, beautiful. And again, this front tyre doesn't look like it's done any mileage whatsoever. As we come around to this side of the bike, again, nice and clean, just really well presented. This would sit nicely in any collection, occasional use type of thing, but just look at the chrome on that exhaust. Rear chain and sprockets look good. And under the seat, I've just popped the seat up just to show you. Real nice and clean, look at this, telltale signs. You've got uh, some spare plugs, um, vibration thingies, can't remember the name of them now. So yeah, you've got that's a nice touch. Uh, it is fitted with Neutronic uh, electronic ignition. Uh, it looks like a relatively new battery as well. So everything's nice and neat under there as it should be. So paperwork wise, we'll just dive over to my little table over here. Like I said, I've got a Haynes manual with the bike. I'll just put that to one side. And then there is an absolute wedge of uh, invoices for parts purchased mainly from Yambits as you'd expect um, just like loads, carb, carb kits, uh, pivot bolts, uh, master cylinders you know just yeah all that kind of stuff new spark plugs, piston ring kits uh, so yeah it's had, it's had the works done so you know good some good evening reading there for you um, so there is two keys with the bike as well so now the moment of truth. This is where we show whether or not I've had my three Weetabix this morning or I've only had two. So uh, let's, um, it's a cold start. I haven't started the bike yet today. So we're going to uh, just go lucky. So we're going to turn the fuel on. I'm just uh, doing that now and a little bit of choke. We're going to give it some ignition and uh, we're on run. So uh, kick the kickstart out. I've put some shoe proper boots on today rather than trainers. So uh, without further ado folks, here we go. Woohoo! Yeah, get in baby. Don't get any better than that. Yeah. 
Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to turn that off before I can't speak. <coughs> oh, fantastic. It does not get, let me just turn this tap off. That way, sorry, my mistake. There we go, taps off. Look at that. Oh, filled up the showroom with smoke this morning. I'm sure it's not any good for you, but God, it doesn't have smell good. So, that is beautiful. That is how it should be. That is a, uh, yeah, what a beauty. It sounds crisp as well, doesn't it, that, folks? What do you think to that? Okay, so, uh, what can we do for you guys? Um, the bike will be supplied. Uh, it'll go through the workshop for a full checkover. Um, all that kind of jazz, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, we can offer nationwide or international delivery on this bike as well. Um, just give me a call for a quote on that, not a problem at all. I could possibly look at finance. A lot of the finance companies now are working closely with us on being able to finance these classic bikes. So we should be able to do that for you. Um, but what a nice clean bike that is, folks. So if you want to know how much this bike is, there is a description below where you'll find a link to our website uh, with a price and loads of photos, that kind of thing. Other than that, folks, uh, if you've got any questions on this particular example, or any of our other 180 bikes in stock, give me a call 01302 760 967, or you can email me, chrishallmotorcycles at googlemail.com. Alternatively, if you do want to come down and look at this bike in person, you're more than welcome. I've probably got about 100 classics in stock at any given moment, so if this one's not for you, there might be something else. Um, come down, grab a cup of tea, but if you are travelling to look at something specific, please call ahead if you live more than one mile away. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, always call ahead just to make sure the bike is in stock and available. Other than that, folks, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tick that bell for notifications for me. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and stay safe out there. Cheers!